Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I just actually just went to check my mail and I found this. Um, and this is an Etsy share. So I'm going to show this to you guys real quick and then we will get going on our, uh, I don't know what, we'll get going on something. So this came from Gramsy's shop. So this is a new shop. Uh, I ran across this on when I was just playing around on Etsy. And, ooh, how pretty. It's a snowman. Look. Oh, how cute. I love that. So that's her shop. I will um, see about putting her, dis her, her description, her shop in the description for you. Um, but I found these really cool, like shabby snippet clusters. I don't know what they're called, but they were super cute. So, uh, I got a few, uh, this, it's a combination of laces and, uh, doily. It's a combination of different textiles, which I really like. I like the different textures of the different textiles. That's really cool. So there's one. There's one. This one's squished. And then look at the pretty. Isn't it pretty? And I don't know if you can see this, but uh, they're stitching around the edge of the bird, which I think is really cool. So I got that set. And then I got three sets. Um, oh, this one got super squished. They both did. But that's okay, because most of the um, textile is fabric, so it'll be fine. Isn't that pretty? Hey. Happiness is a state of mind. That's really pretty. And then this one here. And then the last one is this one here. All right. Oh, the butterflies. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, just like this. It's like, wait a minute, which way does it go? And see, this one even has a paper doily, which I think is kind of cool. So that is Gramsy's shop on Etsy. And like I said, I will try to leave her uh, information in the description box for you guys. Um, oh, let me click off of my OBS here. All right, so what are we going to do? Um, I was actually thinking that we could uh, find my journals here. I was actually thinking we could go ahead and start putting some of these together. Like we'll fold the pages and let's zoom you guys out just a smidge. Okay, so we'll fold the pages up and then get them ready to be sewn in because Remember, I was going to do printables and then I changed my mind because I know a lot of people don't have access to printables or they don't have access to printers more specifically. And most of the shops that I know that do printables do not offer a printing service. Um, that is something that I've thought about, uh, but I'm not sure if I want to go that route. I don't know, honestly, so I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, and you know what? Uh, we have doilies, remember, the paper doilies, so we can actually add, um, we can add one of those to each journal. So Wayne had his, uh, it's Monday today, um, and I'm recording, <laughs> I'm kind of sneaking a recording in because, um, my kiddos are still working, but uh, they are, um, they're finishing up 
and then they're going to be on a, a pretty lengthy break. So I'm kind of sneaking a recording in, <laughs> hopefully anyway. And um, anyway, so today is Monday. We went to his pre-op today. Everything went good. Um, he has his COVID test because he's do it, he's having surgery, so they're making him take a COVID test. So he'll have that done Wednesday. Um, but everything is on schedule to be just peachy keen. Um, I don't know how big of a doily I want. I don't think I want necessarily too, too big. We also need to see how many pages we have here. Because we can still make the pages all pretty without digitals. I mean, obviously, everybody loves digitals. They're fun. Oh, also, too, I wanted to go over something with you guys. So I recently had a question. It was a, it was a private question. They texted me through Facebook and asked me if, um, if you have rice paper, can you scan it and put it in products to sell? And the easy answer is no, you cannot. Um, and let me grab the doilies real quick. Um, oh wait, tell me how doily. Okay, so the, an the easy answer is no, you cannot do that. And it's no different than having like a pad of paper. You cannot scan pages that you would like to use multiple times. Um, say for instance, this page here. If I wanted to use this page again, I would have to buy another pack. I can't just scan this and then reuse it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, that goes directly against the copyright protection that this company has. By the way, this is Stamperia. Um, so they asked me, well, what can I scan? I was like, well, basically you can scan anything that's in public domain. Um, but and then they asked, well, what about uh, pre, you know, pre-copyright? I was like, pre-copyright is a great guideline, but you have to still be very careful because there are some things that are, you know, pre-copyright, but they're still protected. For instance, Disney. Um, Disney bought Alice in Wonderland. So Alice in Wonderland is protected. Um, now, the original artwork is pre-copyright, but the terminology Alice in Wonderland is, it's trademarked through Disney. And um, how many of these do we need? Four? I don't know if I want to just do the brown color or if I want to do white too. Um, so anyway, I thought that that was an interesting question. I thought it was a good question. And um, it was funny because I told Wayne, I was just like, you know, I got the strangest question. And he's like, what was it? I was like, somebody asked me about copyright. He was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah. He's like, no. Why is that a strange question? And I was like, well, I don't know. I just feel like it's a strange question. He's like, if I ever have any questions on copyright, I'm coming to you first. And I laughed at him. I said, why? He's like, because are you serious? He's just like, because I know I have seen you spend hours and hours and hours and days and days and weeks and weeks and months and months researching copyright. So I was like, yeah, but I'm not a lawyer. He's like, yeah, but you have way more information than anyone else that I know. And I was like, eh, yeah, but you don't know a lot of people. <laughs> he laughed at me because he actually does know a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was funny. Not like, you know, I didn't appreciate the question. I mean, I felt useful, which is really cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fold all of these up and figure out where we're going to put them. Um, and yes, you may. Sorry, my daughter just walked in and said, can we go on break? Cause she's done. 
Um, so, bloop, 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 bloop. anyway, but yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, an interesting question and I figured if one person has that question, there's probably a lot of other people that have that question too. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's chit chat about it, you know? Um, I don't know which one of these I want on the front. I'm not sure yet. Then again, maybe we'll do the doily on the front. I do like the vellum. The vellum is really pretty and really elegant. And these, I think we're going to do semi-decorated. We're not going to do like wowzers fully decorated. I think we're going to do semi-decorated with these. Um, oh yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, and then let's figure out um, the other ones. So anyway, there, um, she asked me, you know, where I got my, how I find them. I was like, well, the website that I primarily use, I use two different websites and one of them is called Graphic Fairies and it's a paid membership. You have to pay for their services, but the images that you obtain through their membership, you can use to create, you know, digital artwork and then sell that artwork because all of the images are within public domain and out of copyright. And there are a ton of really, really great images in Graphic Fairies. Um, not that I'm sponsored or anything. I don't have sponsors. I'm too little bitty for that. Um, I'm just a happy customer, that's all. Um, and then the other one that I use is, um, what's it called, Design Cuts. And it's, a, it's free to use. It is, um, you don't have a membership or anything like that, but instead you pay for each package that you specifically want. So if you want something very specific, like you're looking for brushes or fonts or, um, I don't know, um, vintage images or vintage ephemera or anything like that, then you would buy that individual package. And I mean, the prices range. There are some free things. Um, and then there are some bundles where you get like a whole, whole, whole bunch of stuff um, for like $30. And then they've got smaller packages where you get like one or two things for like a dollar or two. But you definitely get what you pay for. So if you only are looking to spend a dollar or two, you're only going to get like a couple images. You're not going to get a huge library full of stuff if you're only willing to spend, you know, however much. It's like the rest of the stuff in life, you know, you just, you get what you pay for, so. And I think that's a, a pretty fair way to go. Hello, over here, thank you. Um, but yeah, that's, those are the two major, um, sources that I get my images from. Uh, I use different programs to create my digitals. Oh, and also I was asked, where are my digitals? My digitals are on my website. You can go to journeyofcrafting.com or you can find me through Etsy, also Journey of Crafting. Um, either way, we'll get you the same products because journeyofcrafting.com is actually sponsored by Etsy. So, um, and they're on my website. So all you have to do is search under the shop. If you go to the website, not Etsy, just, just hit the shop button and then go down to graphic design. 
And once you're in graphic design, just find the set that you're looking for. And there you go. That's where all of my digitals are. And the reason that I have it uh, labeled as graphic design is because I don't have anything that's scanned. I don't have anything that I've just like scanned into my computer and then put like put up. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because I have a lot of stuff like that that I can do. But that is very like I have a lot of respect for people that just like have scanned digitals because that is a lot of work like to scan all of those digitals to create this file for people to be able to purchase. That is so much work. Do you guys understand like how many hours it takes to scan just one book, just one. And that's not a big book. That's a, like, that's a small book. And I have several different types of scanners and it is still very tedious work. So I have a lot of respect for those people that do that. Um, and it's scary too. And well, in my opinion, because I do know about copyright and such, it's, it's scary to do all of that work and not have it protected. You know, it's kind of another reason why I don't do it because I'm chicken. I'm a big chicken. I love these papers. These papers are from Miss Emily over at Vintage Polka Dot. Uh, she is on Etsy. I absolutely love her dyed papers. They are bar none my favorite. They look good. The designs and patterns on them are great. The coloration on them is amazing. The variation between colors is amazing. The, the smell is probably my favorite part. I know that's probably a silly thing to say, but oh my gosh, I love whatever she infuses these papers with. It is, oh, it is so awesome. All right, so let me gotta count these and see how many pages we have. All right. And then the last one is this one here. Uh, we went to Wendy's for lunch. So I splurged on my lunch a little bit. I had a medium fry and I had a junior bacon cheeseburger, which is kind of funny because when he, when he ordered it, cause like I said, we had the pre-op appointment today. So we were out around lunchtime and I was like, I'm hungry. Um, but anyway, when he ordered it, it was, it just sounded funny because it, the way I order any burger from a fast food joint is no sauce, no cheese. And it cuts the calories down a, a amazing amount. So a junior bacon cheeseburger, just a regular old junior bacon cheeseburger is 380 calories, but with no cheese and no mayo, it's down to 250. So you've taken over a hundred calories off just by taking off the mayo and the cheese. And I told Wayne, um, cause, um, when I was eating it, cause we were eating it in the truck and I was just like, you know, I have gotten used to this whole no mayo and no cheese thing. He just like looked at me funny. I was like, you kind of learn to appreciate the taste of everything else. Like I can taste just how sweet the bread is. I can taste like all of the vegetables. It's, it's kind of cool. You have a new appreciation for food when it's not like covered in all kinds of other stuffs, um, you know, other fats and cheeses and creams and this, that, and another. Cause I still eat all of that. I still eat sugary stuff. I still eat fatty stuff. I still eat, you know, stuff that's not good for you. Like I have a medium fry. That's a lot. Um, and then let's see for Halloween, I ate uh, those, you know, those little fun size candy bars. I ate two uh, Butterfingers. I love Butterfingers. They're so yummy. Um, and I had two of them. 
because I wanted candy. And it's funny because my kids haven't figured out yet that um, I eat what I want when I want. My kids are just like, I don't understand. Like, don't you have to watch your calories? It's like, I do. I do watch my calories. And they're like, well, how can you eat whatever you want? I was like, because after eating for so long on a limited calorie and, you know, whatnot, your body doesn't really want all of this other stuff. Like, my daughter made spaghetti one night. And we have, from the time I taught her to cook, she's 19 now. She's been cooking since she was around 7 or 8 years old. We've always put just a little bit of sugar in our spaghetti sauce. And I don't mean like a little bit, a cup of sugar. I mean a little bit like as in two tablespoons in the whole pot. All right, there we go. So let's figure out, I think I want to put the corners or something on here. I'm not sure. But anyway, she had put, um, she had put sugar in hers. And I was just like, oh my God, I couldn't eat it. It was actually quite a few weeks ago. It was the night that we had to take Sid to the hospital. Um, but yeah, I couldn't eat it because it was just so sweet. And she was just like, you don't like sweet anymore? I was like, no, I do. I'm just not used to it. That's all. And so I don't really crave it anymore. All right. So let's see. Now we've got four journals here. This one is pretty much done as far as the cover goes. I absolutely love this cover. This is one of my favorite covers. And then let's see what we can do to this one to jazz it up a little bit. Uh, I really want to leave this, um, let's move you over here. I really want to leave this, but I kind of want to strengthen the cover a little bit. And I think what I want to do is I want to sew the signature into the journal before before I strengthen the spine because once I put the lace on I can cover the stitches on the outside but I can also put lace on the inside to pre-strengthen it so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to grab this lace that I've been using kind of throughout all of them and this is kind of like a mud pudge of a video if you haven't noticed that already um just kind of all kinds of stuff going on in this one i like this and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this here and then i'm also going to put the same lace on the sides to create a pocket like a little side tuck so let's do this one first Oh, that's attached. I was like, why is that not coming off? It's amazing how easily this comes out when it's full. I was watching a video where she had filled up her glue. I was like, oh, I need to do that. So I grabbed my glue and I filled it up. And now it's like super easy to come out. I'm like, ah, I should have done that before. All right. So let's trim this bad boy up. And now once this dries, I will be able to um, sew this in the signature. And I can also put lace on the back once it's sewn in. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna glue this all the way down. Okay. So I wore makeup today for the first time in, oh, I have no idea. It's kind of cool because, like, I don't know, I just, I feel good. So I feel like, you know, I want to, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it. But I also found, found out because I pulled my makeup out. And this is how long it's been since I've worn makeup. I had to rebuy concealer because I had to throw away like four containers of concealer because they were all dried up and old. I was like, oh, I have not worn makeup in a minute, have I? Yep, yep. 
All right, so then we can put this one here and it can be like a little tuck right there. And I think the plainness of the lace actually adds a lot to the background of the paper. So let's do that. You could also sew these if you wanted. I'm still on the fence on whether sewing paper is good for the paper or bad for the paper, because I don't know. I've heard that it helps support the paper, and I've also heard that it helps damage the paper, so I have no idea. I don't know. I'm learning with everyone else. And then there's that one there. And we could even put something on here as well. And then to add the back pocket, we'll do the same thing. Let's move this. Use this be a little better. So anyway, how have you guys been? I've been yammering on all about me, me, me. How have you guys been? You guys been having fun? Did you enjoy your Halloween? You guys all getting ready for the Thanksgiving holidays now? Figuring out what you're going to do for, ow, I just stabbed my finger. Figuring out what you're going to do for, you know, Thanksgiving. Uh, we are going to cook. Wow, that really hurt. I scratched my thumb with my other thumbnail. Um, we're going to cook. We got, we already got our turkey. We got a little bee turkey. Because we're trying to do this whole moderation thing with Thanksgiving too. Um, but every single year, it doesn't matter if we're only cooking for the five of us or if we're cooking for more than five of us, we cook enough food to feed the base. Like, it's crazy how much food we make. But we always have a lot of leftovers, which honestly, that's, that's my favorite part of Thanksgiving food is the leftovers. I don't know. I guess I'm just weird, but I love the leftovers. All right. So let's figure out what we can put on this side that will kind of not really mute it, but mute it. Um, let's see. There's this one. There's this one. Um, we might use that for something else. Again, we might use that for something else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious me. What are we doing? Oh, that one might be pretty. This one's like the perfect color too. Let's see. Don't mind me. I'm just throwing stuff back here. Again. All right. So this is some more lace that I haven't inventoried yet because I'm really slow on that take. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this has got like a, a cream colored inside that is this what is this mauve? I don't I don't know what color this is, but it's really pretty. And I think it lends itself quite nicely to the flowers. 
What do you think? I like it. Probably should have done this before I glued down the pocket. Where is my plastic? There's a plastic that works. And that's just a, a sticker pack from many moons ago. That is super pretty. Okay. And then do the same thing on this side. And, ooh, we could. What does that look like? I like that color. All right, so let's keep this here for now and see if we can find another sticker pack. Come here, sticker pack. Anything? Any? Any? Yes, there we go. Another sticker pack. All right, see? Sticker packs are great. All right. Cut this side first. I just dropped my score voice. Oh, catch. Get. <laughs> All right, set you aside. Oh, cut you off my scissors. There we go. I just, we're just going to leave the stickers in here for now because they're going to keep this from going down into the pocket and sealing the pocket because we don't want to do that. But that it looks really cute. And look at these envelopes. They actually match really well. Isn't that cool? That's cute. But see that glue right there? That's what we don't want on the back on the pocket. So we're just going to let that sit. We're going to let that sit overnight. And you don't have to let it sit overnight. I'm just going to let it sit overnight uh, and possibly work on something else in the next video. Um, so this can dry. And I'm going to go check on my kiddos and make sure that they're all finished. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.